Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jelly and welcome to my channel. Now, before you guys get into this video, I just wanted to nicely come on here and let you guys know what y'all about to get yourself into. But before we do that, like, share, click, subscribe, leave me a comment, go ahead and give me a good old nice thumbs up. And yeah, this video is entertaining. It's everyone voicing their opinions. And it's a lot going on in a good way. Now, like I said, I am new to YouTube. This is my first time doing a YouTube video. This is something that I've been wanting to do. And I finally got the balls and got up and did it. And I'm very excited, very nervous, but very excited. The video consists of my fam. And we're standing around a nice table, eating some good old seafood, and just having discussions. Now, it started off with me asking, um just random questions and then it just went to a whole bunch of other stuff but it's a nice video also keep in mind everybody's opinions are different everybody think different not everybody's gonna always agree as long as we're being respectful to how everybody else look at things or view things that's all that matters there's only good vibes over here on this channel no bashing no disrespect no none of that so just give me a try give the video a try give the family a try just give it all a try um like share click subscribe leave me a comment like i said i'm nervous y'all but i'm excited i'm only nervous because in internet is me like i've read com i've read comments from other people and it don't if you're gonna leave me a mean comment don't watch but i don't understand that like we watch people and we talk about them but yet we're on their channel i don't do that okay but i mean even if y'all do i'm still gonna do what i'm doing but yeah, also, everybody in the video have kids except for Uncle Joe or Big Joe in Aspen. But our kids was there and I did as much editing as I possibly could have with the kids. And I think I did a pretty good job. But just remember that we have kids. And um, if I would have did too, too, too much editing, then y'all wouldn't have a video. And I'm sorry, but I don't have time to keep doing the same video over and over and over and over and over again because of kids. And half of us majority of us a lot of us have children so we should understand i don't we don't have babysitters that we can drop our kids off to to do a video so just work with me give me a chance another video i might be dropping later on tonight with my sister and i maybe it's um sweet versus spicy if i don't drop the video just disregard that i made that comment but yeah so go ahead come on be a part of the jelly and peanut butter bites squad you guys, come on over. You know, jelly, peanut butter, peanut butter jelly. So, y'all my peanut butter cups. Y'all my bites. I like that. Y'all like that? I like that, too. Well, we're going to get into the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Until then, next guy, next time. Until then, guys. <laughs> Until next time. There we go. Peace out. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jelly, and welcome to my channel. All I want y'all to do for me is leave a comment, subscribe, and like this video. That's all I need y'all to do. And turn on that notification bell every time so that when I drop a video, y'all can get notified. So, today we are doing a mukbang. 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 Y'all know what you're talking about. Right. So, I'm going to let them introduce themselves starting here. Mm -hmm. I go by Big Joe. That's <laughs> it. I'm Michelle. Be our cook. Huh? You're being our cook. Girl, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to, I'm trying to raise these kids. Yes, I'm here. Maria. <laughs> you did not just say you are Maria. No, because he know that they're smaller, so he's not going to hit bang. Okay, I'm sorry. And I'm Mary. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we're going to eat, and we're going to ask some questions. We're going to get everyone's. Answers are um, comments. Thank you. Comments. Mm -hmm. So first question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just so y'all know, Bianca cooked this food. Yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. She did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> okay. First if you follow question. Follow on YouTube. Follow for uh, for the recipe. Uh, you know, I helped her. <laughs> <laughs> you. I helped her. What so did you have to break it down? What yeah. Did you so do? it's okay. <laughs> and she said, come taste it. I taste it. I told her what was wrong. So 
Yeah, yeah. Basically, anybody, anytime somebody tell you come taste you, you're gonna go taste it. She's That's a taster. Oh. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to be? No. So if you got your food and it was just messed up, like, how would you feel? That's why I got a wife, so she can say something. <laughs> That's Where's your wife? I hope she's feeling the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, We're so not going to go there. First question. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you travel to? Oh, that's easy. Go ahead. I want to be like little baby you now in, in, in Paris. In Paris? Just because? I'm some gangsta Oh my, look at that. We got internet. We got the It's okay. I'm uh, talking I got a totally different vibe. I'm getting to just find me somewhere up in Tennessee. For my horses and a whole bunch of land chilling out. I believe she said travel, not live. Kimbo, you just trying to go on the trip and never come back. Exactly. What about your kids? Kids. Yeah. I ain't like, don't put me in the house. Go to the house. Hey, baby. I lost my wife on that. I have one child and I have two kids. 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 I have two I feel like it would be Dubai for me. Uh -huh. I think Dubai is Dubai for me. I kind of want to really go to New York or Paris. Uh -huh. New York or Paris. Uh -huh. I just said that, like, yeah. baby them and Paris. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just said that. Maria, can you pay me to knock in to Maria? Don't get arrested. I ain't going to have nothing on me. I'm going to have nothing on me. One minute? Yeah, one minute. I was like, Brooklyn, why would you do that? And I'm sitting behind you. 
I graduated high school with her. She has never talked to me since. I wouldn't talk to you either. That's not nice. That's all. That's all. That's I'm so sorry for you, bro. If you watch me, I'm sorry. You should have thought I was on the bridge. No, sir. No, we're not having to beat that out. We're not. You would have been. You lied on her. Hey, you gotta stick to your story, man. That's how they how they go down, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stick to your story. Let me tell you Anybody else have a story? That's crazy. Uh, not that crazy. I yeah, I gotta, yeah, come on. I just blame it on Jason for stone. I'm like, ooh, Jason, you wrong for these. Not your kids. I think we all have learned it on my own. I'm not shy. Wait, who ate it? Like they, uh, like they, uh, that girl in that video when that boy was. When her little boy was on the hood, he said, Mama, what's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been on the plane, I'm <laughs> He said, Oh, I thought it was you. <laughs> uh, and you was correct, son. That kid be truthful. Mm -hmm. I didn't hit that very much. Hey, so if you watching this, don't blame it on your son. Sure, no, they gon' wash yourself. Oh. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Would you trade your sibling for a million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of them. Yeah, I slide. I slide. I slide. Yeah. Can I get a million for each one? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. What about you? Yeah. How many siblings? Yeah. I'm getting an unknown. I got two number. brothers and a sister. I got an unknown number. Yeah. I got an unknown number. My daddy. I got over daddy. ten for sure. I got ten. Ain't no way. No. I don't in the family. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. After I would have got older, I would have had it. Why? It's obvious. Why? Really? Hey. I'd be real. Freaky. What uh, Chris Brown said? Literally, y'all know. I'm like, serious. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, my question is how do you feel when you're sitting in the other places that fall face down? I feel like, like, they want to get like, like as soon oh, as the phone goes like this, it's like, that's, 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 whether it's face up or face down. They don't down. know that. I don't, they don't know that. I don't think it matters. A matter of overthinking. And I trust because it can be, I can be sitting with you and I can be sitting with a dude and my phone beat and I, it is, it's Malik. And he made yeah. me mad. He made me mad to me. It's Malik trying to cry on me. Like, and I do this. They don't yeah, know. okay. I'm, I'm not doing it sure. because I, it's in the or I don't want to take it. It's so not it's hiding. hiding. Like, you know, like trying to hide from it. But yeah. it don't have to be like that. Me personally, I feel like if I'm in a relationship to build me no more and it's something that you feel it, we're going to just go our separate way. Ain't no point of dragging nothing on. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see the point of that. I don't see the point of dragging stuff on. You don't want to be with me no more. Just say you don't want to be with me no more. And I'm about to, oh, I don't want to hurt you. You're hurting me worse than now. What you would have hurt me when you told me that. I think From you, the joke. I think this, this is Randy's course. Because not everybody we date until you're supposed to unlock this. And sometimes you end up with somebody that's not supposed to, that's not your soul, but that's not what Cause you can fall in love with more than one person. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. how do friends in your relationship? Like, if I have a best friend and the guy says, oh, oh you, you can't be you can't have a best friend, but you got a, but the guy got a best friend. You got a different it's of a different definitely a different thing. Definitely a different thing. Because I don't want to be friends in a row of trusting it. I don't trust this one. Because you say that's a but the whole thing will be Friends. Yes. Yes. Without being involved, I definitely yeah. agree. That yeah. A male and a woman can be friends. I agree, but I feel like society just doesn't, doesn't allow it. It forces it to be. As a man, no. But see, it's only because you're going to think that because you always want to be something going on. Like, yeah. that's just that's perspective. A, as a man, it's okay to be friends. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But it, it's easier for a female to be friends with a man yeah. without me, those feelings than a man okay, being a best Okay, most, with most a men can't man. handle that. Most men, hey. they, once you like spend enough time with a woman, they like have feelings for them. They just wake up and have feelings. He's trying to chew on her body. It's weird yeah. as hell. But, but I have guys, I have guys that I'm friends with and we're just friends. No, you don't. At some point, he's gonna, he's, at some point, at some point, that's what Bianca was you're going though. to call him, you talk to him, or, or like, or y'all gonna see each other, like, you're gonna try to, like, just be cool, and he gonna make his move. I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. Well, my best friend's never did, been. Um, um, like, did, um, did, um, break him? But he's gay. Okay, <laughs> that's the point. Yeah. That's what I'm real. That's yeah, I'm he, sorry, um, we making a YouTube video, and I'm... Uh, we gotta cut this part. We gotta cut this part. We ain't cutting it. I'm not cutting it. Not cutting it. Not cutting it. Not cutting it. So it's so. I don't believe that though. I don't. I can't. It's hard for females. It's hard for females to understand. The only the only way that works out, like, so I have I have a best friend. I ain't she, seen the best friend. She dated, she dated, she dated one of my close friends. I, me and her was cool. I put her in the double D. That's the only reason why she's off limits. She ain't no friendship at all. Like, period. Even if the, even if the other guy is married? Well, say, oh, well, he's married. That's not how it's going. No to the double standard of best friends. Hey, I just said about what? It was something Michelle said at the end of the last conversation, but I don't even know. I believe you can love two people at the same time. Yes, because you don't love everybody the same way. I can watch your Twilight. Twilight ain't real. She said Twilight ain't real. But they too, they, she loves she, the same. She loves like, both it's the same. I think it's the same. Like, you. Like, I always talk to love everybody. Like, you love. I love my family. I love. Like, my significant other, I love them the same. Like once you get put in that family boat, like you know what I'm saying, you get the same love as everybody else. So if like if the situation, like you know what I'm saying, I feel like it, it is possible. That's not, what, of course, that's not what you're going for. That's it's possible. Because I feel like if you can have, if my thing with it is because say if you've been, it's person by person. yeah, if you if you grew up with so if you're person, talking to two people. Yeah. No, you, but it's different you because it's like you can be alone with two people at yeah. the same time. Oh, it's like this way, but it's off. Let me come back. Oh, yeah, come on. Bring it back, bring it back. Cause, Cause like, I feel like my part about this like this is it's the history. Like, if I can be, if I can stay in somebody that say, okay, say you and you and Ashley grew up together. Y'all grew up together. Y'all was, y'all stayed down the same block. Y'all together. Y'all grew up together. Yeah, that she was your too. first. She was your first kiss. Your first everything. Y'all graduated high school. Y'all everything together, and y'all have all this history. But then you meet this, you meet this other person. And it's like a totally different thing. But that's different because, your... because that's a childhood memory. Like you gonna hold on to that childhood memory because it's nostalgic. It makes you feel good. But are you gonna and, leave? But that's my thing. Are you gonna leave? Ask him to be with this other girl because she brings a different type of feel, a different type of love. Like you love asking, yo, you love, love, yeah. love her. But, but you, so love, 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 you love, love this new person. That's it's person to person. You know, that's it that's something that you gotta you gotta jump to... in the water on and you gotta you gotta be cool. With. It, it boils That's down it. to overthinking, though. So, like, I don't think you can be in love with two people. Agree. Whatever's gonna make you leave that person, go to that person. You're, it's, it's what you thought. It's all people change. Every day, you feel them change every day. Right. You can wake up. Not in love with that person no more. No, yeah, but that makes maybe the idea is the idea. The idea. idea. Yeah. That makes me think of that next show. That's on Netflix. Have y'all seen it? It's called Sex and Lies. No. I know I should have asked you what good. It's like it's like that she had she met this she was with this guy and he it was like this chemistry like that like that, 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 that chemistry but it was like that toxic kind of like chemistry it was like when they was together they was together but then he would do something because he had his own issues and they would fall apart mm -hmm. but then she met this guy and he had the stability the safety she had two kids with him but, it it was just all what she but everything was there but that because girls thing. like that because women like that women want that toxicity in their life i disagree y'all okay but, no. but women say that in 98.9 percent of the women in the no. world they weak that no. shit. Everybody I say that. Yeah, I 
Yeah. I'll say half and half. Because you do got some women. You got, you do. They are totally in this, but you can't say half. Don't want peace. Nobody want to deal with that. You have to want peace. Don't nobody want to deal with that. But you have to want that. You're not used to it. Hey, but look, everybody has a different idea of peace. That chaos might be that peace. Nah. Cause this time women, I think that's the that's the topic of chaos. They they and they bring the chaos, chaos. That's and the they bring and they bring it to four or five different households. I agree. Right. I agree. Some women are right. Exactly. Like in ninety eight point seven, there's like that. Not ninety. Nah, not that much. Of very large percentage. Yeah. Not that much. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Not that much. Yeah. A very large percent. More than more than ladies. sixty percent. Sixty forty. Sixty forty. Hello. <laughs> Give than, it to me. Give it to me. More more than less. <laughs> less than more. <laughs> Some people do yeah, care about it, but yeah, they but some do care it about it more. But like when you hide, but it when you like when you a kid, like when you five and six, seven and eight, growing up, you're not thinking about that. You're right? Just, you're just thinking about going to school. And school. But holding on to it till they're eighteen, that's gonna hurt them more. No, it's not. You will be like, they're gonna be like, I feel like if you over, it's too hard. It hits too hard. It's like no, you're thirty. It's like you see, you see your parents. Together in a until year. your adulthood, like you really need to be exactly. Oh my god, my mom and my daddy been strong. Exactly. Like, yeah, they for twenty six years. They never argue. They never fight. I want want the relationship like my mom and dad. You do have some relationships exactly. like that. They hide so all good. of that from their kids all these years. So until they're older. When it does come yeah. out when they're older, it's not something that they're familiar with. And they feel like it's like a lie or something. Yeah, exactly. yeah. especially when like, no. like, I'm gonna no. find a man like my daddy this whole time. I thought my daddy was like this, and I stay with. Why well, stay with somebody and raise them in a toxic, toxic relationship when you can, you know, when you can, when you can just. And make it almost healthy. Yeah. Rather yeah. yeah. right. have two separate households than one toxic household. Yeah. Cause ain't nothing else that about that. Yeah. Okay, last question. How do we feel about submissive uh, women? Our women are in a relationship. I mean, it's different ways to be submissive. Yeah. I feel like okay. you should only be submissive if you're a man. No. That's the only way that a relationship is going. I can agree, yeah. but I also yeah. can disagree. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to be like really serious because number one, you you shouldn't really be. I'm gonna have to agree with Malik. What do you say? Wait, I ain't here. You gotta be submissive, like on both sides, to be in a relationship. Agree. To be in a healthy, okay. And to I'm even be in an okay relationship. And okay, I'm okay with saying that the male can't be superior. Like I'm okay with saying that because that's how it's supposed to be. Like the man should be healthy. It's okay. Like you know, us as women, like this generation, are so strong on saying, "Oh, we're independent and we can do this and that." And I mean. It's Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. But some of that shit ugly. Yes. 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 Like, it's okay to have a man in your life. Like, it's okay. It's okay. I totally agree. Like let you like, got you, okay, you, you got no, 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 you, you got a, you got a son and you talking about I don't hey. need no red, no man to raise my son and your son sitting there like that's, that's foolish, that's foolish. That's foolish. <laughs> you need a goddamn man you need something you need some help I'm done. I'm done. somebody I'm done. needs some help somebody gotta do something because you got something because you think that's okay if any it's man nice. any other person a granddad or uncle rolling there that's, that's foolish what the hell wrong with John John like why he sitting like that. <laughs> Just, and John John, John John just loose as a flower. <laughs> <laughs> just out here free as a bird. Yeah, that's why it's you, goofy, so, you goofy as hell. But you got some some kids that grows up in a two parent household and they still are no, feminine. I'm not saying I'm not saying yeah, that you're gonna be okay. feminine just because you uh, yeah. came up in a one woman household. Yeah. Me personally, I came in a single mother yeah. household. Yeah. I understand feminism. I understand oh, masculinity. Oh, yeah. All sister, I understand both sides, but. Like I say, this generation, kids are raising kids. Okay. Yeah. And she, yeah. she, she don't know yeah. nothing, but if for for you to talk to her, you gotta send her some money on cash app. Yeah. Mm. So, 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 so she don't know how to be a woman, and then she gonna have a son with this goofball that sent her five hundred dollars on cash app. And, and then, and then when he step and be like, I, I sent you that 500, I'm going I'm to hit and I'm gone. And then you're going to be like, okay, well, F it. I don't need no man to raise my kids. And like I say, five years later, John John in there, loose as a flower. And y'all like, wait, something is a flower. Something not right. Something not right. Five, seven, eight. 
Yeah. And then you also have those these, these parents they having, just making stuff up. these kids having kids and letting them let the kids run the the relate like the mother daughter like like the relationship. Like because the kids telling the parents what, what they gonna do, do, what they not gonna do, or what they like. Is, I don't I don't have no control. My mom. Uh, my mama wasn't at the house with me. My mama was at the address and she was at Prospect. And, not she, right and she was right. at Prospect. So by the time I hit, and she was at Groove. So by the time right. I hit 13 or 14. Oh, you already pregnant. I don't want to hit that. I'm, I'm going to hit Groove. So I'm gonna, I got a fake ID with it. I'm going to do what you was doing. It's the Yeah. So, so to these Instagram, these Instagram. It definitely is a cycle, though. It these influencer babies that's coming up. It's going to get crazy out here. It's, it's, you might have had that. You might have had oh, that. Oh, wow. You worship Instagram? Yeah. They kids. The kids. Like, they that, kids. That's gonna be another story. Them kids breaking themselves. That's why I can't love them. Because I can't put my phone down because Kylie Jenner just put a post on here and I gotta send it to all my friends. Yeah. But we're gonna let that happen because these people <laughs> these people <laughs> don't know what they're doing. They just make it up. Like they just make it up. Literally. They they post that picture with their kids and their significant other. And then after that it's like watch out, go on about your video. Yeah. 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 People don't even do their kids have no more yeah. and still post a picture. Right. I love my right. baby so much, but right. your, yeah. but right. your baby half fucked up. Right, but your hair, we, your hair, you got a leg lace for it. Houseway. I do hate the houseway. I cannot say the baby. The baby. Oh. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The The baby. 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 The it just, I, I feel like he was like, but it yeah. takes you were, it is how you were brought up. Though. But it takes Beyonce a village. House. You had a village. You had, you got your mama. You t you talk about your granny. You talk about other people in your family. And it's a now, yeah. these yeah. people. Yeah. Like, I say it depends on where you. Now where these people. Yeah, that's right. That don't need to be mothers. That's and, right. and then you also got these. You also got these parents out here, and a 15, 16 started. year old kid okay. daughter. Our son got somebody pregnant or pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, I'm having enough something that you go get out of my house. How are you helping them? That's yeah. what you need to be. That's like, another this, huge reason why kids raise their kids. Yeah, you're thinking like, oh, well, I'm going to be by myself and I got to be grown. And like, well, if she want to have this kid and be grown, I'm not to be grown. No, that's what you need to take them under your wing the most. Mm -hmm. He's nine months watching. But sometimes, 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 sometimes,